Today, the president raged against the murder of children in yesterday's chemical attack in Syria. But when pressed, he seemed unable to express a policy on the Syrian civil war. President Trump took several questions at a Rose Garden news conference today alongside the King of Jordan. Facing his first international crisis, when Mr. Trump was asked about Syria, he changed the subject, blamed the Obama administration, and described himself as flexible. Last week, the Trump administration reversed U.S. policy and said that the Syrian dictator could remain in power and not be held accountable for crimes in the six-year-old war. The apparent nerve gas attack happened five days later. Major Garrett begins our coverage. I want to thank you both very much for being here. In the Oval Office with Jordan's King Abdullah, President Trump called the Syrian regime's chemical weapons attack on civilians an affront to humanity. Are you formulating a new policy, Mr. President? You'll see. That's as close as the president came to telegraphing what's next, beyond a personal reassessment of Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. Can I just quickly ask you if the chemical attack crosses a red line for you? It crossed a lot of lines for me. When you kill innocent children, innocent babies, babies, little babies, with a chemical gas that is so lethal, people were shocked to hear what gas it was. That crosses many, many lines beyond the red line, many, many lines. And I will tell you, it's already happened that my attitude toward Syria and Assad has changed very much. Mr. Trump touted his ability to change course. I like to think of myself as a very flexible person. I don't have to have one specific way, and if the world changes, uh, I go the same way. I don't change. Well, I do change, and I am flexible, and I'm proud of that flexibility. The president did not rule out a military strike to punish what is likely a war crime. One of the things I think you've noticed about me is, militarily, I don't like to say where I'm going and what I'm doing. Mr. Trump has blamed President Obama for inaction that kept Assad in power. I now have responsibility, and I will have that responsibility and carry it very proudly. But I'll tell you, that responsibility could have made, been made a lot easier if it was handled years ago. When President Obama contemplated military action over Assad's use of chemical weapons in 2013, then private citizen Trump fired off a series of tweets warning against a horrible, costly attack with worldwide hell to pay, concluding there is no upside and tremendous downside. I inherited a mess, whether it's the Middle East, whether it's North Korea, whether it's so many other things. When pressed today for specifics on Syria, the president changed the subject. As you know, I'll be meeting with the president of China very soon in Florida. And that's another responsibility we have, and that's called the country of North Korea. We have a big problem. We have somebody that is not doing the right thing, and that's going to be my responsibility. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said it was time for Russia to, quote, think carefully about their continued support for the Assad regime. Scott, a senior administration official, flatly rejected Moscow's contention that the chemical weapons came from a rebel stockpile. Major Garrett at the White House, thanks.